Hey, how's it going? John from Branson Cerakote here. We ended up with a couple extra hours at the end of the day where we didn't really want to start on a new project, you know, that we wouldn't get finished by the end of the day. So what I ended up doing is sanding down one of our shop guns, I guess. You know, we just take it out to play with it every once in a while. Got a super, super good deal on this and just picked it up for whoever wanted to kind of take it out and plink with it. It's a 22 caliber uh, GSG 522, so it's their MP5 knockoff. And what we thought we'd do with it, because we'll also use it as a, a table display at the gun shows, is kind of a terracotta look. So what we're gonna be doing is basically the acetone battle wear with just some different colors. So I'll put the custom mix that we make to get the, that kind of that terracotta. It's sort of a, uh, those who have been around a while, uh, remember they had Rhodesian pink. So it's sort of a desert rose, desert pink type of, of color. We're gonna put that down and then we're gonna do probably just a little bit of a real light coat of burnt bronze over that. Wipe that down with acetone, go back with desert sand, wipe that down and then go back and speckle it with some black. So it'll be a quick, you know, probably hour, hour and 15 minute project that we can knock out when we've got a little bit of time and, and I'm thinking it's probably gonna turn out pretty cool. So as always, there'll be pictures at the end. So just to cover what I've done so far to get it ready, we degreased it popped it in the oven and gassed it out. We sanded it in our cabinet with the new metering valve. So the PSI for the polymer was about 25 and the PSI for the metal was right around 45 to 50, somewhere in that range. Some of the stuff was anodized. So with that, you don't take it down to bare metal. You just scuff it really good at about that 20, 25 PSI. And then the things that were, you know, regular aluminum or whatever, we just went and took those down to bare metal. So we've got that ready to go. So we'll get the base coat sprayed on it and then we'll end up kind of mocking it up. Those who have watched our videos before know that you know, we just kind of build the outside so everything's really nice and seamless. We'll go from there, we'll just pop it in and out of the oven until we get all the coating on there and we'll have pictures at the end of the final project. So just kind of a quick video, but it's, and it's similar to some of the other ones we've done, but it's a little bit different. So you know, we thought we'd knock it out real quick. As usual, I'm not gonna talk anymore after this. It'll be just letting the camera run to, so you can kind of see. How, how the process worked. Keep in mind this is, is a decent sized carbine, so it's gonna take a while to spray all this and get it batched in. So we'll run the, the video at probably two times normal speed just to speed it up and get it through there. If you have any questions or if I forgot to mention anything or you have a question about one of the techniques or something we're doing, just leave me a comment down below and I'll, I'll answer that for you. And keep in mind you can also get a hold of us directly. Our contact information is on our website, BrancisCerakote.com. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And check us out at BrancisCerakote.com for your stencil needs. Have a great day.